Value of the 2000 P South Carolina quarter, the value of a 2000 P South Carolina quarter can vary significantly based on its condition, rarity, and the presence of any errors. Here are some general guidelines for assessing the value of this coin. Circulated coins, most 2000 P South Carolina quarters found in circulation are worth their face value of 25 cents. These coins typically show signs of wear and use, such as scratches, dings, and loss of luster. However, they can still be valuable to collectors who are assembling a complete set of state quarters. Well, in 2000, for five of those state coins the designs were minted. A minted coin means a coin with mistakes. Those five states were Massachusetts, Maryland, New Hampshire, Virginia, and our very own South Carolina. The coin condition is critical. Mint state coins can be graded from 60 to 70, with 70 being perfect. MS outside of the grade is an abbreviation that stands for mint state. According to the Professional Coin Grading Service, here's what the South Carolina State Quarter from the year 2000 went for at auction, South Carolina 2000, PMS 69, $3,525. It can be pretty rare but there are still a fair amount of quarters floating around with errors. There have been errors calculated during the 2000s that you might want to keep an eye out for on the next South Carolina State Quarter you come across. Uncirculated coins, uncirculated coins are those that have not been used in commerce and retain their original mint luster and sharp details. These coins are generally more valuable than circulated examples. The value of an uncirculated 2000 P South Carolina quarter can range from a few dollars to over ten dollars, depending on its condition and the quality of its strike. Error coins, error coins are highly sought after by collectors and can command significant premiums. The value of a 2000 P South Carolina quarter with an error depends on the type and severity of the error. For example, collecting and investing in state quarters, the 50 state quarters program sparked a renewed interest in coin collecting, attracting both novice and experienced collectors. For those interested in collecting or investing in state quarters, here are some tips. Condition matters. As with all coins, the condition of state quarters is crucial in determining their value. Look for coins with minimal wear, sharp details, and original mint luster. Error coins. Keep an eye out for error coins, as they can be much more valuable than standard issues. Learning to recognize different types of errors can help you identify valuable coins in your collection. Complete sets. Assembling a complete set of state quarters, including both Philadelphia and Denver mint issues, can be a rewarding challenge. Complete sets are often more valuable than individual coins. Certified coins. For high-value coins, consider purchasing certified coins that have been graded by professional grading services such as the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC, or Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS. These coins come with a guarantee of authenticity and condition, providing peace of mind for collectors and investors. Storage and care. Proper storage and care are essential to preserving the condition and value of your coins. Use coin holders, albums, or capsules to protect your coins from damage and store them in a cool, dry place. Conclusion The 2000 P South Carolina Quarter is a fascinating piece of numismatic history, representing the state's rich heritage and natural beauty. While most of these quarters are worth their face value, error coins and high-grade examples can command significant premiums. Whether you are a casual collector or a serious investor, the 50 State Quarters program offers an exciting opportunity to explore the diverse history and culture of the United States through its coinage. The state outline, the quarter also includes an outline of the state of South Carolina, with a star marking the location of the state capital, Columbia. The Palmetto State, the quarter is inscribed with the state nickname, the Palmetto State, reinforcing the significance of the Palmetto tree to South Carolina's identity. The overall design of the South Carolina Quarter captures the essence of the state's history, natural beauty, and cultural heritage, making it a cherished piece among collectors. The 2000 P Mintmark and Error Coins, the 2000 P South Carolina Quarter was minted at the Philadelphia Mint, which is indicated by the P Mintmark on the obverse side of the coin. The Philadelphia Mint produced approximately 742,576,000 South Carolina Quarters, making it a relatively common coin in circulation. Error coins, error coins are highly sought after by collectors because they are unique and often rare. An error coin occurs when there is a mistake during the minting process, resulting in a coin that deviates from the standard design or production quality. Some common types of errors include off-center strikes, double strikes, die cracks, and planchet errors.
For the 2000th P South Carolina quarter, several notable error types have been identified, off-center strikes. These errors occur when the coin is not properly aligned with the die during striking, resulting in an off-center image. The degree of the offset can vary, with more dramatic offsets generally being more valuable. Double strikes. A double strike error happens when a coin is struck more than once, creating a doubling effect of the design elements. This can result in a visually striking and unique appearance. Clipped planchets. A clipped planchet error occurs when a portion of the coin's metal blank is missing before the coin is struck. This results in a coin with a missing or irregular edge. Die cracks and cuts. Die cracks are lines or fissures that appear on the coin due to cracks in the die used to strike the coin. Cuts are raised areas on the coin caused by die breakage. Both errors can add to the coin's uniqueness and appeal. The 2000 P South Carolina Quarter is part of the United States Mint's 50 State Quarters Program, which ran from 1999 to 2008. This program aimed to honor each of the 50 states with a unique quarter design, released in the order that the states ratified the Constitution or were admitted into the Union. The South Carolina Quarter was released on May 22, 2000, and it features a design that celebrates the state's heritage and natural beauty. History and Design The 50 State Quarters Program The 50 State Quarters Program was a significant initiative by the United States Mint, authorized by the 50 States Commemorative Coin Program Act, signed into law by President Bill Clinton on December 1, 1997. This program was intended to promote interest in coin collecting, as well as to educate the public about the unique history and heritage of each state. Each quarter featured a design on the reverse side that represented a specific state, while the obverse side maintained the traditional image of George Washington. Mint state coins can be graded from 60 to 70, with 70 being perfect. MS outside of the grade is an abbreviation that stands for Mint State. According to the Professional Coin Grading Service, here's what the South Carolina State Quarter from the year 2000 went for at auction, South Carolina 2000, PMS 69, $3,525. South Carolina Quarter Design The design of the South Carolina Quarter was created by Thomas D. Rogers Sr. an accomplished artist and sculptor who worked for the United States Mint. The quarter's reverse features several iconic elements that represent the state, the palmetto tree. The palmetto tree is a significant symbol for South Carolina, as it played a crucial role in the state's history. During the Revolutionary War, the palmetto logs used in the construction of Fort Moultrie helped absorb the impact of British cannonballs, leading to a crucial victory for the American forces. The palmetto tree is also featured on the state flag. The Carolina Wren, the Carolina Wren, designated as the state bird in 1948, is known for its vibrant song and distinctive appearance. The inclusion of this bird on the quarter highlights South Carolina's rich biodiversity. The Yellow Jessamine, the yellow jessamine, South Carolina's state flower, is known for its bright yellow blossoms and sweet fragrance. It symbolizes the natural beauty of the state. 